<sighs> Needed my drink to drink. And yes, I did wear my hat the entire way there. No. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. It doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nail down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Could probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? That'd be just like climbing a treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. <laughs> Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. <laughs> Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. That sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. <gasps> oh, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? Keep your voice down. But you just yelled at me. Shut up! <laughs> it's Man. pretty. You see anything? Really dark. I can see the bridge. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. Wait, wait there's another. Luke. Luke. Ah. Uh, where fall down and die. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Kenny. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? <laughs> yeah, oh, seriously. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in.
Jenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guest, sir. There's no need I don't know what's about to happen. I haven't seen this. I haven't seen past this part. I haven't seen past, past episode two. People, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. Lee and I had our differences, that's for sure. But when my son, well, he was there for me. So, where'd you end up? <laughs> I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. <laughs> Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. Uh, what happened to his son? Because I, I kept seeing, like... He got oh. bit. He got bit and turned and killed the mom. And then, uh... You have to make a decision to either make Kenny kill his own son, or you kill the son for him. Right. But everything's gonna be fine now. Where have you been? Oh, hell. All over after Savannah. How did you get out of there? Krista got in a hell of a mess. I gave her a hand and then it got messier. Burp. For a minute there, it wasn't looking too good for old Kenny. Long story short, I got lucky. Real oh, by the way, spoilers. <laughs> I should have said that first. Time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita. Thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? <clears throat> He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. <clears throat> well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner?
Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Everyone underestimates me. I expect you've used that to your advantage. Sometimes. <laughs> Smart girl. Mm. Wow. Done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? <laughs> beans, beans, more beans. Looks great. It looks like mush. No, it doesn't. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. As an artist, there's nothing I like less than a friendly critic. Huh. Striking resemblance. <laughs> anyway, I'll take it from here. Look around the lodge. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th. Make a fact that you're playing more of a Christmas game at Halloween. Reminds me of school. I, I guess this is what you could say, the, the true nightmare before Christmas. <laughs> yeah. It's my favorite Christmas song. What's it? Clem, we could use some help. Here, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. Hey, Greg. Yo. My wife wants me to ask you a question. What's your minimum hourly wage there? Um, give me a moment and I'll pull up a, uh, a dollar conversion. And I'll tell okay. you what it is in both. Alright, he's going to convert it to dollars and pounds. <laughs> I love how Fox just writes this shit. Uh, thank you, Fox, for sticking around. I know you have. You try to go to sleep and stuff. Thank you so much. Thing is, how nobody's in there, and you don't have to really be here, you know. I guess, but I'm happy you are.
Okay, so my starting wage before it goes up after the first three months is six pound forty-three. Okay. Okay. Starting wage at the beginning of the month at the beginning of the term before it goes up in three months is six pounds and twenty-three pence. Now he's going to tell me the price in actual dollars. Now it's uh, that in dollars is nine dollars fifty-nine. Uh, in U.S. dollars, that's nine dollars and fifty-nine cents. Yeah. All right. Could you convert uh, seven dollars and do you say twenty-five cents? Yeah, twenty-seven. Okay, so seven dollars and twenty-seven cents and a pound or twenty-five. She said it was twenty-five. Seven dollars and twenty-five cents in the pound. Four pounds thirty-eight p. Our minimum wage is four pounds and thirty-eight pence. Over here, that's middle wage for someone age sixteen. That's middle wa wage for someone age sixteen. No, it's not. Over here. That's what I over in UK. Over in UK, it's it's. Middle wage for somebody age 16. Yeah, that's below standard adult minimum wage. That that's, is bo that's below in between at child's minimum wage and adult's minimum wage. Over in the UK, that's between child's minimum wage and adult's minimum wage. That's what I started with. Yeah, I know. Actually, when I started McDonald's, I was $7 even. Yeah, I know. Yeah, our minimum wage is seven twenty-five an hour to start, and that's what my mm. wife started out as when she first got her See? job. See, with this new job I'll be starting, which I found out actually starts next week, I think, um, is um, after after the first three months, I go up to seven pound twelve an hour after the first three months, which works at eleven dollars twenty cents. Jeez. And what type of job is that? Was that at your sushi? Yo Sushi was being a chef. That was that was our minimum wage, which was nine dollars fifty one. All right, give me one second. My wife's talking. To... But that doll job wasn't worth it. All right, yeah, because she was just curious because she somebody posted on Facebook a link, or not a link, but a picture to state in different countries, minimum wages. Australia is like $15 an hour. Uh, Germany is like 12 Just as a heads up, how much do you roughly spend a week on food shopping in America? <laughs> um, how much do we spend a week on food shopping? Um, when we get to? When we get to? Uh, $60 to like when I get my when my other money drops, that my that for my uh, dad's child support, he I'll, I'll be spending like two hundred dollars just for trying to that's gonna try to last us the entire month because I don't get a week. Okay, so two hundred and sixty a month. Yeah, then, roughly. Okay, what you spend currently in a month is what we spend in a week. Hmm. That's the difference, though. So the thing is, the thing is, is it's not it's not two hundred sixty dollars a month that we want to spend. It's it, we want to spend more on food. It's just that I can't. That's the same with us, though. Because mm. food I get, over here is really expensive. How much is a loaf of bread? Depends on where we buy it. Uh, and depends on what type. Either I try to get the loaf of bread. Not the um, most expensive, but not the cheapest. Around a dollar fifty bread. A gallon of milk. Okay. A gallon of milk costs more than a gallon of gas here. Hang on a sec. Right now, gas is like two seventy nine a gallon, and for a gallon of milk, we're paying about four bucks. Um, a wait, that that doesn't work out right. There we go. Um, a loaf of bread over here in England works out at just over uh, works out at three dollars twenty cents. The fuck for? 
You don't have any wheat farms there or something? God dang. Oh, we are a farmland. I know, but damn, honey, over in England, we, it's like $3 inflation. for a loaf of bread. Tell him we'll send him the bread and he sends us the milk. <laughs> we'll send you the bread and you send us the milk. <laughs> 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 milk over here really isn't worth it. Um, milk over here works out about... See, at the minute we've got a problem that milk over here needs to go up in price. Milk for us is that cheap that the, the, the farmers are pouring it down the drain rather than selling it. Oh god. Because they can't make any money off it. Because places... Because we've got... Um, We've got te we've got places like Tesco's, Asda, Sainsbury's, Morrison's, um, all of these supermarkets are all demanding to buy it cheaper. Now everybody buys from these supermarkets. The entirety of England. There's no way you can go that you can get away from this. Because of that, that actually farmers are having to basically pay Tesco's and Sainsbury's to take the milk off their hands because no. they can't get a competitive price for it. Now, do you have like a Kroger's or Cubs Food type thing over there? I don't know if you know what What's those are. A uh, Kroger's and Cubs Food or Aldi's is like discount stores. Uh, you know how I said that like Matt Milk is like four bucks a gallon over here. If you go to a Ruler's yeah, or a Kroger's yeah. Food, you can get a gallon of milk for a dollar. Okay, about two dollars because like a dollar fifty nine or dollar sixty nine. See, you you get it in gallons. We don't get it. We get it by pints. Oh. So how many pints are in a gallon? I'm not good at math. <laughs> um, Hang on. I think it's four pints is a gallon? No, four quarts is a gallon. Okay, how many pints is a gallon? Eight. Eight pints? Uh, yeah, eight pints to the gallon. So, we, we, for one, how much does it roughly cost you for a gallon of milk? For a gallon, we pay about uh, three sixty nine to four dollars. Two pound fifty. Okay, we currently pay that for four pints. You pay that for half a gallon. They, yeah. They pay about two pound and fifty fifty pound two quid fifty pence, which is. Basically, what we pay for a gallon, wow. they pay that for half a gallon, and that's and he's saying that it's so cheap right now that the that the farmers are just pouring it down the drain instead of selling it. Good God! So I tell you what, can you see this site? So, and that's and if we don't go to a dollar store like Dollar General or look cheap, I can get I can get bread for a dollar, literally ninety nine cents. But does that website work for you that I linked to? Tesco. Yeah. Every little, oh, little okay, helps. Right. But it might not be it might be converted to If you click on no, because Tesco's are only England based. If you click on fresh food and groceries, when you go down you've got start shopping. Yeah. Like you've got all the different types of food then. Um Take a look through different stuff. Is like, this does it say it in pounds still? Yeah. Yeah. This is like av Tesco's is the shit place to buy food. Shit place? I mean, as in shit like the best or as yeah. in the worst? Oh, no, okay. <laughs> okay. The worst. They oh. they've had they are most expensive for what uh. they sell. They pump water into their chicken to make oh, it God. look bigger. Um, they've had horse meat found in their burgers, their beef burgers, and all sorts. Tesco's are nasty. Eight beef burgers, how, and that's six hundred eighty-one grams. So how how does that milk, how does that come up? Milk and eggs, the, all all milk, butter, and eggs. How does that come up to? How does that come? What does that come up to, to dollars? It says it's three dollars. For a 681 gram Tesco eight beef burgers. By the way, if you see Tesco's own, that's the cheapest, nastiest stuff ever, because Tesco's themselves have like made it to try and make a value range. 
Man, that sucks. That's just, I can't believe that crap. That's expensive. So, whereas we get screwed on housing and stuff, you guys get screwed on food. Yeah, basically. Although housing is starting to get a bit worse. Oh no! I, I was completely wrong about the milk. Four, pr four British pint, uh, four pints are one pound. Apologies, I was completely wrong there. Oh, you got one pound? That's nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but can you see the problem with that? Like. Farmers, they've actually worked out the cost per pint of milk is something like 70p. <coughs> so when you make a four, uh, four pinter, so 75, 75p times four is like £2.50, and they're having to sell it to Tesco's and stuff for them to be able to sell it for a pound and make a profit. Yeah. See, the problem they've got over here is if you turn around and go, no, I want more expensive, then they won't buy from you, they'll buy from another farmer in another country that will sell it at that price. Right. So then the farmer doesn't make any money whatsoever and goes completely bankrupt straight away rather than slowly going bankrupt. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the problem we've got in this country is do you want to go slowly bankrupt or bankrupt? Whereas in America, if you want to eat fast food, it's cheap as fuck. Anything unhealthy for you is cheap as hell. But if you want to eat healthy... How much does McDonald's cost you? Uh, McDonald's, they just raised their prices for, or last year. Uh, they no longer have a dollar menu. It's like... Uh, my if wife you would... wanted to go there and say, do you do Big Macs? Yeah, I do Big there. Macs. Yeah. Right, how much... Ask, ask your lady, if she's still there, how much does a Big Mac meal cost? Hey, honey, do you know how much a Big Mac meal costs? Six bucks. In England, convert that straight to pounds. Okay. That's ex it's exactly the same price, just in pounds. It's exactly the same price, but in pounds. It works out at $9.59. It works out at $9.59 for a Big Mac meal. <laughs> Good God. Mm hmm You still That's looking disgusting. at that Tesco site? No, I got kinda of disgusted by it when you were talking when we were talking about it, so I'm like, nope. <laughs> well, it might it's still nasty, but if because I know you were thinking of coming over here, weren't you, at one point. <laughs> A little bit. We were talking I was talking to my wife about it. Yeah. Work out what you would buy every week for a weekly food shop, price it up and convert it to dollars. I'll do that later. Because this is like one of the things you're going to kind of need to start looking into if you do want to move over here. It's like, not just like, oh, look, the, the rent's cheap, the wages are higher, but this is more expensive, that's cheaper, this is more expensive, but that's on par, and, you know, would you save money or make money? Right. Hi, sheep, bro. Oh. Good God. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm from the Ingerlands. I'm from across the pond, everybody. Yes. But... Not really, bud. I'm trying to remember you. I, you see, your name seems familiar. It really does. I'm trying to remember. This is where I will be working. <laughs> hey, look, you got your own section, Greg. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't make fun of that. I've heard that joke so many times. Greg's is a pastry shop over here. It's a really bad pastry shop. Well, I say it's really bad. They're, just, they're really bad in the sense that they're the cheapest in town. They're everywhere and they're the cheapest. There is nothing really wrong with it. There's just nothing really right with it. If that makes sense. I gotta go to the car real quick. I'll be right back. And then I'll continue okay. playing. And then I'll continue playing this awesomely gruesome game. Ooh, excuse me. We're back. here guys but give me a second
Let's see if we get back to playing some oh, Traverse Tales Walking Dead 2, Season 2. Yeah, did you take a quick look at the site I linked? The uh, the Iceland? That's where I'll be working. Yeah. Wing. It's like, it's like they do pizzas for one pound. Oh wow! Yeah, this sounds I'm, this sounds like this sounds like Kroger's. This is like basically, oh, this place only really does frozen stuff. Mm -hmm. The closest to fresh stuff they do is milk, and they do like a four pinter for eighty nine p. The only thing I don't like is the guy, the, the guy that um. Guy that advertises the place. It's called. He's called. Have you ever heard of Peter Andre? No, I haven't. But I just saw it says that's why Peter goes to. Peter is a tosser. <laughs> he's a really shit singer that hasn't. That was that bad when he created. He literally got one album, got some money off of it because the chavs liked it. It's not even chavy music. It's like really bad long love songs. <laughs> then he married a page three model over here, which is like a, a like a. We have newspapers, but some of the newspapers have what we call a page three model, which is page three tits out model. Um, he married one of those called Katie Price. Got famous off of her, basically. Divorced her. Then is now famous because he's a whole court battler trying to keep his kids. He's he's just a not so famous half, apparently good looking guy. That everybody's like, eh, look how good he is. I think he's gonna get bigger. Oh, I'm actually gonna disappear. Um, I'm gonna go talk to Koiju for a bit. All right, man. Um. Find out what's going on with the stuff today. <laughs> this cat is fucking hilarious. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Got that fucking look on his face and purring like a madman. All right, let's continue this. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. <laughs> hold up? You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. <clears throat> now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Crazy. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. Ha! She's got. Hello, ghost. Yeah, yeah. I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him any- <laughs> Is there a lag, or are you being sarcastic, Fox? About us, did you? We have to be careful. He mentioned someone else. Someone else? Who? His friend. His name is Matthew. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. 
I'll be right back. Oh God, guys! <clears throat> Did she say an angel or a star? I forgot what she said. I got distracted. I got really distracted. Um, what did she say? Did she say angel or star? I swear to God, I thought she said star. Let's get the star, shall we? That's nice, I guess. Damn it! Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Shit. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait I meant to do the Matthew. angel. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He does seem different than I remember. In what way? I'm not sure. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, hun. I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine? In here, I thought I wasn't gonna be like fucking Wade on his playthrough, and I and he forgot too. I was like, oh shit. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? I think it's possible. How do you know? Well, I'm still here. <laughs> Put your ass in your place, woman. It's gonna be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. This woman was. <laughs> this woman on the game. You're playing as a little girl in a zombie apocalypse, and she's pregnant. She's like, she's like, I don't know if it's gonna be possible to even raise a kid. And she goes, I think it's. And I go as Clementine. I think it's possible. And she goes, How the hell do you know? And he's like, She's like, Well, I'm still here. And then you look at the woman's face. Go, Oh shit! <laughs> Said something wrong. <laughs> I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. Wanna listen? That food smells good, huh? Can I? She's gonna be a runner. If he finds out it's not his, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Well, everyone, dinner is... <coughs> Come on, let's eat. You okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem! Oh, God. I hate these decisions! 
All right. Yeah, baby. I will. I'll try to find it soon. No, with Kenny. This is because you feel bad about what happened. Uh. Here you go, Clem. I wish I could vote. So, Clem, <laughs> we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? What's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? <clears throat> Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. They seem nice. Yeah, well, gators seem nice, too, till they bite your damn arm off. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. That guy, Big Al. He said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. If that's what she wants. Of course she does. Right, Clem? I can't leave my friends. What? Of course you can't. They can stay too. No. Honey. It's because I didn't open the actual poll. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> So it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying? What? Excuse me? Kenny, stop! But- Luke is my friend. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. <sighs> Pass me that can, duck. Oh, crap. Duck? Who's duck? Leave him alone, Luke. Hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Damn, Kenny. That's one major fucking slip, slip up. Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, 
And I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. We're gonna leave in the morning. No, no, you gotta stay. We have to keep moving. Clementine, in this world, you don't have to do anything. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Right. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm worried about your friend. I think that... Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. But I think... Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? I never liked Kenny. Oh, politics. The... <laughs> Hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. <laughs> I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Dun dun dun. Miss? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. Check her for weapons. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. Don't do that. Kick her ass. Shoot her. Shoot her, Kenny. Shoot her. I know her. Little girl like you. You lying little bitch. I know this. I've seen up to this point. I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. <sighs> you stay I know! Shoot her! Shoot the bitch! Kill her! Don't let her go! Shoot her in the back! Shoot her now! Kenny! Fire! Fire, Kenny! Fire! Damn it, Kenny! You could have saved us all! I gotta talk for a second. Uh, I'll kill Kenny, because I'm a bastard! Clementine. Don't freak out. <laughs> That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. I know he was. For sure. Damn it. Damn it, Nick. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. We should tell him. He's gonna ask who did it. 
and you're gonna tell him. It's the right thing to do. It's right to get Nick killed because that's what's gonna happen. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. We have to tell you something. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. God damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. What? No, you can Hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta. I can't live with that on me. Okay, I hear you, but f I mean, fuck, man. Do you know what he's gonna do? Either way is risky. Exactly. Jesus. I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? Here it comes. The knife is gone. Walter already knows it. He's gonna try to kill me. It's gone. Oh, yeah. Walter's got it. Walter always thought he was doing the right thing. Nick always thought he was doing the right thing, though. That's the thing. Are you okay? I always liked this knife. <clears throat> Gave it to Matthew when all this started. I know he's dead. Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier, something about shooting a man. I could see it. I could see it on his face. Wasn't sure then, but now... It was us. It was our fault. Jesus. I, um... Uh, I don't feel good. Nick shot him. Don't do anything stupid, Walter. Is, uh, is Nick a good man? Or is he just like everyone else? He is. He's a good guy, Walter. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. No, Matt always knew best. What's going on? You need to tell him. Tell him what? What happened on the bridge. Tell me what you did. Just tell me, son. Tell me what happened. From a What stupid happened? <laughs> what the hell does that mean? <laughs> Since it looked like anyone, I, I, I thought I thought he was gonna shoot my friends, and I I shot Matthew. But it, 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 it happened real fast. I didn't I didn't know if I hit him, but I did, and I didn't mean to. Do you know what you've done to me? Do you have any idea? I didn't yeah. Mean to. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Walter. Walkers, we gotta shut it down now. Nick, help me. 
Carry the guns. Guns? That stupid happen? What the hell does that mean? That thing's a damn dinner bell! Blew out the generator. Transformer must have gone. Gotta check it. I can use <coughs> it. I'll go with you. I'm going to. No! It's too dangerous. The rest of you, get this thing shut down. Does anyone know how to do this? your back. Nick, scan the trees with me. Come on, you can hear it. How do you not hear that shit? We don't have much ammunition. We gotta get back to the lodge. They're behind us. She's a jack of all trades and mistress of all. Oh yeah. <laughs> Boom, headshot. Boom. 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 Oh god. Oh god. I'm dead. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, get it, get it, get the gun, get the gun, get the gun. Oh shit! Pull that bitch away. Oh come on, I had a perfect headshot. Ooh, knife. Knife. Got the bitch. Oh! Damn. Hi, Ido. How you doing? Please help me. Oh, come on. Don't you dare. Sh yeah, I knew you were a good guy, Walter. Let's go. Did she drop the knife? Clem, get inside. Go. And here come the bad guys. Whoa! That was close. Yep. 
I wanted to shoot the bitch, but she wouldn't let me. You wouldn't let me. Folks. Where's Rebecca? Knives and blades never run out of ammo. <laughs> Nice oh. to see you too. Oh. Oh. Sarah. Inside. She wants he wants Rebecca because he thinks the kid's his. And they kill Alan? It's you. Keep moving. Bitch. Look at this place. You already saw it, bitch. You believe this fucking place, Bonnie? Power and everything. A lot of windows, though. It's fucking huge. Bill's gonna hate it. Now the rest of them could be anywhere. Man, how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them too? Johnny, cover that window. You came a trip by everybody today, William. Walter, sorry. Walter, what, what the hell is his name again? It was Walter. Where's Luke? Listen, I'm only gonna ask you once. Where's Rebecca? Sarah, look at me. It's gonna be okay. Oh. Oh. Rebecca! No. Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there. Oh. Alvin, Luke. And the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. And show your faces. Please. He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Back. Baby, you need... <clears throat> Alrighty. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, how come it's not working? Oh, Nightbot's not here, that's why. God bless America. That's why it's not working, I don't have Nightbot here. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm a moron. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. 
Ito. I'll do whatever I feel like. Okay, so who do I play doctor. the selfish? Ah, I ain't gonna Here's play the selfish. Just... Hey, no, I did with. Doctor, he'll do anything. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. What the hell is she gonna do? And you heard him. Carver knows she's with us. Just stop! Don't hurt my dad, please. We're going down there. He'll kill you. Fuck you. Shoot him! Somebody just shoot him! Clem, go get help. He'll kill him, Beck. He'll do it anyway. He's gonna kill him. Rebecca, we have to give up. Bill, stop! Ah! Ah! Oh. <laughs> You alright? Fuck you, Bill. <laughs> you don't want to do this. Please, let these people go. Just shut up. Oh, his two fingers are broken. Clem, can you reach my hands? Everything under control? I'll try. Kenny! Don't move! Oh, is he gonna get pegged in the head? I can't see him! Watch them. Oh, damn. I didn't know that happened. No. Walter. That's for our man. Now, I didn't want to do this. But you ain't leaving me much choice. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to march another one of your friends out here, and I'm going to put a bullet in the back of their head. No! Or you can give up now. Your choice. Hi, Elvin. You motherfucker. Elvin! Bill, no! Tell him to stop! Kenny, stop! You remember George, Alvin? You see, I do. I remember a guy that was your friend named George. I remember when you murdered him in cold blood. And why? Because you didn't like me? You could have lodged a mm -hmm. complaint. You could have... Well, you could have been civil. Bill, no! We'll do whatever you want! <laughs> We can do this all night. Is that what you want? <laughs> I'm sorry, Kenny. Where's Luke? Walker's got him. Finally cut and run, huh? Why am I not surprised? I warned you. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's Oh, Luke's going to let him out. But you're safe now. We're going home. As a family. <laughs> Alright, round him up. We're heading back to camp. Damn, I didn't know what died. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Next time on The Walking Dead.
I don't know if we could have saved Walt, but I know one of us didn't just give up. Yeah, I know. The folks are sore over what happened. But let's remember, these are our brothers and sisters, and they all have a vital role to play in this community. They strayed from the flock, yeah. That don't mean they can't earn their way back into the fold. I don't mean we can't find it in our hearts to forgive them. Knowing full well, those who choose not to accept our love will surely wish that they had. A storm is on the way. Oh, thank you for the uh, follow. I'm guessing it was Sun Ito. Thank you, Sonito, for following. I'm gonna have to go AFK for a bit. I'll be right back.
Hi guys. Sorry about that. I had to double check to see if uh, I was, I'm supposed to babysit today and the uh, babysitter was not dropped, has not been dropped off yet. They said around 9 o'clock and it's 9.30 already. But apparently I might not be babysitting today, so. Maybe. Huh? Yeah, so I can continue streaming. Ow. That was loud. Let me turn this down a little, a little bit. Just a wee bit. Well, I'm glad I'm in the majority. Ooh, new song. Oh, I was in the minority for the looking for Kenny. I wasn't in the majority for looking for Kenny. I'm talking. I'm talking to Fox on my in my uh, chat chat room, and she's talking about my choices I made. Yes, I do smoke. I don't advocate smoking, though. Especially if you're underage. I love the music. <laughs> Did you actually hear my wife say that, Fox? You know, that, like, that 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 song by Yilvis or Ilvis or is it is this or whatever the hell its name their name is was one of my favorite one of my daughter's favorite songs. Momo. <laughs> Oh my pimp! Oh god, you can hear what my wife's saying in the background. 